afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is going to be doing a lot of editing on this video. Good God, you gave me work. I gave him a lot. There's like 17 reactions in here, 16 if we're not counting the pre-intro. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like. It really, it really does help us out. And comment down below your thoughts on this game. This game was nuts. 6-5 win for the LA Kings over your Winnipeg Jets in a shootout. Tough result. However, I'm happy the Jets seem to solve a lot of their problems in the scoring front, as well as pick up at least a penny point in the form of a shootout loss. I wish they held the lead, but that's a story for later in the video. Let's get this out of the way. Um, you know, Niederreiter is getting a warm reception in Winnipeg. Love to see that. Uh, before the game, this was uh, the Winnipeg Jets um, celebrating a Black History game, so to speak. I think that's how they worded it. Um, so they had a former old Winnipeg Jet, Ray Newfeld, come on to do the ceremonial puck drop uh, reaction here. And skated in almost 600 games during his NHL career. A true trailblazer of the game, accompanied by his sister, Sarah. Please welcome home, Ray Newfeld. Great to see it. Great to see it. Um, throughout the course of this game, there's a lot of goals, and there's a lot of things that are just getting celebrated, which is a bit odd, but we, I digress. There is a video package welcoming everyone, I guess, to Nino Niederreiter, like, welcome Nino Niederreiter to the city of Winnipeg. That was nice. Check it out here. Nino Niederreiter! Um, yeah, and then not long after that, like, the game is kind of slowly picking up a pace, a lot of feeling out process, the shot gets at one point were like five to two, not many good opportunities early on. Um, and then they would celebrate 600 games played in the NHL for Adam Lowry. Check it out, reaction here. <laughs> Monumental uh, achievement, all with the Winnipeg Jets. All dating back to Adam Lowry being drafted, the same draft as Mark Shifley in the first ever draft that the Winnipeg Jets attended. Um, and then would be the beginning of the goal scoring. Josh Morrissey would make a great play to the oh, to open nice, miss the first initial shot, and then bang it. They he bang it into the net behind Phoenix Copley to make it one nothing reaction here. Oh, let him cook. Great goal by Josh Morrissey, but he's not done, lads! Morrissey walks in and wires a cannon! Top right corner, 2 nothing reaction here. Or walk! Walk! Love to see it. Jets are getting some momentum early. The penalty kill and power play were interesting. The Jets 
power play wasn't a lot. It was nice to see uh, Nino Niederreiter get as an added section in front of that net. It was good to have constant net pressure. However, overall, the Jets didn't use that constant net pressure. They weren't getting chances in front of the net. They weren't getting a lot of opportunities where there could be a really good deflection for Nino Niederreiter. I don't think he had a bad game. I think he had a fine game. He had a really good shift in the second period, but nothing, nothing more really spectacular because he never really got the opportunity to. Like, and then the penalty kill, on the other hand, for the Jets was hit and miss. This was a miss. Anze Kopitar off the draw to the first power play. One tease it in to make it 2-1 reaction here. Winnipeg penalty to number four, Neil Pionis. Two minutes for holding. Time for the penalty. Oh, Pionis, Pionis, two for holding at 20 seconds. That was fast. Penalty. Have you learned your lesson, Neil? That's probably the right way to do it though. If you're gonna do that, put it right through the seam right away. And this would be in the second period worth noting. Uh, we go in the second, so it's 2 nothing after the first period. We're now at 2-1. Kyle Connor though with an absolute snipe would make it 3-1 reaction here. He's trying. for the worst jet, something I have not done in a while because I've been out of town for most of it, um, or in my car in denial. Um, the Michael Ward for the worst jet tonight's a tough one to give, honestly. A lot of guys stepped up in big ways. However, one that that got a little bit unfortunate, in a, or was in a bit of an unfortunate spot, was probably Dylan Sandberg and Logan Stanley. Both guys struggled mightily on the ice tonight. Dylan Sandberg um, will famously blow a tire on the game tying goal and logan stanley just looks dreadful out there i don't why why can't we put in kyle capobianco are you telling me that kyle capobianco has a higher value than logan stanley i disagree sir they have the same amount of points except kyle capobianco has a game-winning goal stanley's got one assist for showing up but anyway, where are we? 3 1, right. Kopitar would score a great goal right in front of the net. Tip in to make it 3 2 reaction here. Oh, oh, come man. on! Where did that go? Um, they would mention because Wheeler got an assist on the first goal of the night. He would he would hit 600 assists of his career, and they would celebrate that reaction here. 600 career assists. Yeah, a lot of a lot of milestones being hit tonight. Um, Morrissey would end up having a four-point game, which was insane, but not, but not before Anze Kopitar would score again in front of the net to make it 3-3 with a hat-trick goal reaction here. Please. Come on!
<laughs> there, there is a, there's a tip joke that I could make, but this is partially a family show, so I'm not gonna make it. I'll tell Carter it after, and he will laugh. I told Jets of it earlier, which is another Jets YouTuber that you should check out, and Jackson. he laughed very hard about it. He's like, that's a stupid joke, you son of a bitch. Um, but anyway, yeah. The, th the second period would not be done, though. Kevin Stenland would quietly have his best game as a Winnipeg Jet of his career, like of his season, of his career, whatever you want to call it. He would score, he would walk out, lose his defender, and score to make it 4-3 reaction here. The walk in. And then not long afterwards, he would then, after a... So, Nino Niederreiter would have a great hit here. It's a little high, I'm going to be honest. And I knew that when he landed it. However, he had just been tripped like three times in the same play and given a cross check. So, I can understand the frustration. Causes a lot of fighting, which would then cause a Nino chant breaking out, which you can hear in the pre-intro. Which should be there. Perfect. Yeah. And then that would result, however, in the Jets being short-handed... And then not long after, and right off the draw, probably, Adam Lowry feeds it to Kevin Stanley for his second goal of the night, short-handed to make it 5-3 reaction here. And then the game drastically dips into the toilet. We go to the third period. The Jets have a lot of good chances, even a 2 on 0 oh in the third period. But they cannot score. They cannot beat Phoenix Copley, who didn't have anything spectacular. Phoenix Copley's been touted as a demigod in the past little while. He looked very mortal tonight. Um... Anze Kopitar would walk in on the first shift of the third period with a cannon to make it 5-4, to four, his fourth goal of the night reaction here. Oh my god, he's got four. He's got four. What? He's the only guy in the Kings that can score. You know that fucking squawk in there? That would hold until late in the period. Gabriel Velarde. Uh, Velarde! It's a nice name, but fuck him. Um, would score after Dylan Sandberg blows a tire. Would score to tie the game to make it 5-5 reaction here. No! No! And then we'd go to overtime, and it would solve nothing. we go to a shootout. A um, bunch of saves, great saves back and forth. The second shooter for the Kings, Adrian Kempe, would come in, score five-hole reaction here. Wow. And then with the game on his stick, former captain Blake Wheeler comes in and he will do absolutely nothing. Stop. Easy save by Phoenix Copley. 
and the Kings win in a shootout reaction here. Do the thing, Blake! Unfortunate, honestly, again, I really, I think this was a game that the Jets really could have won. There was a lot, there was a lot there. They let this game slip through their fingers. However, it was a lot like, honestly, it's worth noting, the first game against the LA Kings of the year, the game where Axel Janssen and Fialbi deflected in the game winner, the Jets didn't deserve to win that game. And I would argue the Jets deserve to win this game more than they did deserve to win the game that they actually won. However, at least getting a pity point is good. However, the Jets are in a dog fight right now. The Central is a war. And the Jets are actually wild card one right now. They do have at least four games and four games, four points um, over. The Calgary Flames, If uh, it'll be five if they lose in overtime right now to Boston. It'll be four if they beat Boston in overtime right now, because they are in overtime with the Boston Bruins. Um, granted, however, the Jets need a, to string a couple wins together. Their next four games are very key. It's back-to-back -back games with Edmonton in a home-and-home -home series. Uh, by the way, our Friday night one will be delayed probably to Saturday morning. Uh, due to a personal commitment on my part. I'm just letting you know now. Um, and the and then they play the Sharks, which I will be live at, and then they play the Minnesota Wild, which I'm dreading. They need to pull out at least two to three wins out of those four games, and they need to beat Minnesota. But yeah, guys, top three stars for this game. Uh, Josh Morrissey gets the first star. Kevin Stenlin gets the second star. Honorable mention will go to uh, Nino Niederreiter. They didn't really able to use him a lot tonight, but he was there. Uh, Mark Scheifele would get the third star. But yeah, honestly, it is worth noting that Kevin Stenlin really deserves a lot of props tonight. We've been ragging on depth scoring, and he showed up huge tonight. Like, this was probably his easily his best game as Winnipeg Jet. It sucks to lose, but these things happen. The Jets just need to keep moving upward from this, and hopefully everything will be okay. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, Connor, you'll the top for Connor, and that's cool.